Hello YouTube and LEGO fans and welcome to Destination LEGO. And also welcome to another Winter 2014 LEGO Star Wars set review. So this is set 75046, the Curasant Police Gunship. So okay guys, bit of information, this is for ages 8 to 14. It comes with a piece count of 481 pieces. And it retails here in the UK for £49.99 and that's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay, so this set comes with four minifigures and obviously has a number of features on the actual um, police gunship itself and we'll have a closer look at those um, in a little while. So let's take our first look at this set and the minifigures. Okay, there we go. So there's our first look at this set, the Curasant Police Gunship, and obviously the four minifigures down here, um, which come with this set. So first off, let's take a closer look at those minifigures. Okay, so our first minifigure is Ahsoka. And we can see her here. So this is not a new variant of this minifigure, or indeed a new minifigure. This has been in previous sets. And you can see her here with her two green coloured lightsabers. We we'll take a closer look at that printing on the legs and to the front torso, around to that rear torso, and obviously she has this unique and very cool um, headpiece, which does remove, and I will remove that now. We'll take a closer look there at that face printing and she does have a double sided face just place that headpiece back on ok and there we go guys that is our first minifigure ok next up we have Anakin Skywalker and again, this is a new variant of Anakin. So he comes with his blue lightsaber. Take a closer look at some of that printing. You can see some printing on the front of those legs, up into that front torso, and around to the rear torso. Okay. See his hairpiece there, if we just remove that. Let's a look at that face detail. It's just a single sided face. Okay. There we go, so that is our new variant of Anakin Skywalker. Okay, and finally we have our Shock Trooper, so there are two of these and they are both identical. So I'm just going to give you an overview of obviously one of those. So they both come with the blaster, which we can see there, so I'm just going to remove the blaster. For the purposes of this. Okay, so take a closer look at that print in detail there. And the legs up into that front torso. Spin round, and we can see the rear detailing and printing on the rear of the torso there, and obviously the different coloured arms. Okay, down into that helmet detail. Again, we can see the detailing and the printing on that helmet. Okay, there we go, and obviously up into the top also. So remove his helmet. And we have the standard clone head, single sided, so you can just see that standard print in there, just place his helmet back on. Okay, so this is the Shock Trooper and this is a new variant um, of the previous Shock Troopers. And like I said guys, there are two of these in this set. 
Okay guys, next up I'm going to give you a quick 360 view of the actual Curasant gunship itself. So let's just spin it around. As you can see the gunship there in all its glory. Okay, and what we'll do in a second, we'll take a closer look and zoom in at some of these features and functions on this particular set, so just one last spin round and hopefully you're picking up some of the detail um, on the gunship okay okay guys we're in this while we're in this position um, we'll take a look at some of the features on the set so first of all here what we've just zoomed into this is a um, hatch that does open up or a door and that's just simply on a hinge piece which lifts up like so let's shine a bit of light in there Hopefully you can see inside there so there is actually plenty of space inside um, to fit the minifigures okay so it's the first hatch that opens up again that just can shut down like so Okay, so next up, if we move back, we have here at the rear, um, this is another hatch area. Just move that forward a second. And this one is on a piece which opens back like so. You can see here, this has actually got a um, gun fixed to the side of this here. Okay, and this can be removed. This is just simply held in place with a Technic piece, which you should be able to see there. So we can actually take that out. Okay, and that just simply slots back into place, like so, very simply. And obviously, just close that door up. So let's just zoom out so you can get your orientation and see where we are on this set. There we go. Okay, so if I spin around to the other side while I'm on that function, I just want to show you that there we have this same door on this hinge piece here, which again opens up like so. And again, you should be able to see inside there, plenty of room to fit your minifigures. And we have this door again here on the rear, however, this one does not have that. Um, gun piece fitted to it um, it does have these clips here um, and I will show you what I use those for I actually use those to put the blasters there um, and I'll show you that when I put the minifigures inside the cockpit so again we can just close those up very easily like so and that one again on that hinge mechanism just closes down Okay, just while we're on the side there, next thing I want to show you is the landing gear, which you can see there when you lift it up, it does actually, um, let me give you this front shot of that, let me place that down, like so, you see the landing gear there when you lift it up, that does actually um, open up into a more flight position, so that's these obviously here and here. Um, around the side we do have some wings again that fold out you can see that there let's just zoom this in a little bit okay so there we go so you have these wing pieces here which can be tucked away or folded out like so again you can get a bit of a better look there and exactly the same on the other side, if I bring that round, there's that landing gear and there's that other folding wing piece that comes out there. So with them both folded out, um, that's obviously now what our gunship now looks like from the front. Okay, so just while we're at the front here, we obviously have these two cannons at the front and these are on these um, ball pieces here. So these can be moved around into numerous positions 
obviously one on this side and one on the other side. Okay, so now if we're looking at the front view of the um, police gunship, so obviously this here is our cockpit area, and this is on again a hinged mechanism. So this just simply lifts up and goes back to the rear, like that. Okay, so there we can now see inside, hopefully, that cockpit area. Again, I'll shine a bit more light in there, so hopefully you can pick that up. There we go. Okay, and we have the actual seating piece, which does actually um, come out, and that just pulls out, so that's this piece in here. If we just slide that out, and it just does just slide out. So hopefully you can see that there coming out. And if I lift that up, I can see that piece. Let's just zoom that in. Okay, there we go, guys. Um, and you can see there that is sticker detailing. So we have two stickers on each side, so a total of four stickers. And this is actually where our minifigures sit. So we have one minifigure that sits here and one minifigure that sits there. So while I'm on this um, particular piece, I'll just show you that now. Okay, so there we go. So there we now have the two shock troopers um, sat in that cockpit area, which we can see there. Okay, and then at the rear, you would have seen this. This is a Technic pin here, and that is what holds this in position inside the um, gunship. So again, that just simply slides um, back into the cockpit area and that will just clip into place using that Technic pin. So there we can see now with the two shock troopers and hopefully a bit more light in there and again the cockpit just cockpit cover rather just simply um, comes down and back into position like that. So hopefully now we can see inside you can pick up there the um, shock troopers, obviously inside that cockpit. Okay guys, so staying with that front view, but now moving up to the top of the gunship. Um, we have these up here. So inside here, you can probably pick this up at the rear, we have the new spring-loaded shooter so you can see there one on each side one there and then one there over on the other side and I'll show you those firing in a minute but they're actually underneath these hinged pieces here so these do lift up and out like so and we can do that on both sides that's more for purposes of getting easy access to reload those shooters so again they just push back down fold into position like that and again it is exactly identical um, on the other side here so obviously this one here um, and again if I just lift that you can see there the end of that spring loaded shooter okay guys so again I'm just going to give you a demonstration of the spring loaded shooter firing so first of all from this um, close view zoomed in and of all of them, they're held on a little like hinge piece, and all you do is push down, and this will fire out very fast. So here we go. And I expect you probably didn't even see that go out, because like I said, they did go out fast, but I'm sure you would have heard it. So while we're in this position, I'm now going to fire the other on the other side, but from a more zoomed out position. Okay, so again, I'm just going to push that one down now. And again, you would have heard that fire, and um, that's actually hitting my light. Okay, the other thing to point out is everything that you do see, which is a print, is actually a sticker. So these are all stickers, sticker there, there, there. Um, sticker inside this section here. Um, another sticker down the bottom there. And um, we do also have on the top, you can just pick it up there, a sticker there, and I'll show that a bit closer in a second and exactly the same on the other side and there is obviously also those four stickers which I showed you earlier inside the cockpit so just while we're on that shot there I just want to show you the top side of the aircraft ok 
Okay, so there we go. So there we can see that sticker there. Let me just zoom that out so we can get a look. Okay, of how that looks. Okay, and then just moving round to the rear. We get a better shot of the rear there. Um, and then at the rear again we have this cannon piece there at the rear um, which we can just see there with a the white um, cone on the rear of the gunship there. Okay, so just take a quick look at, look at the underside. You can see the underside of the aircraft there, or the gunship rather. Okay, probably the only bit to show you here is this piece here, which is on a hinge piece. I think this is representing um, a light, searchlight, so it can move like that. And it can go right the way around and back in, like so. So it's been fully manoeuvred. Okay, so that's the underside of the gunship. Okay guys, I think the final thing I want to show you is, like I said, um, this is where I put the blasters here um, when the shock troopers are in the cockpit. So hopefully you can pick that up there and see that. And that does shut quite nicely with those um, in position there. It's always good to obviously have somewhere to put the weapons um, when you've got the minifigures obviously in cockpits. Right, so there we go. I think that's my review of this set pretty much complete. So just to recap, this is the Curasant Police Gunship, set 75046. Um, quite like this set. It's probably not one of my favourites, um, but it's got some great features on it. Um, so it's going to be good, have good playability. Um, does look like it's quite a good looking set, so will look good on display. Um, it's just lacking something for me, um, can't quite put my finger on it, um, but that's just obviously my personal opinion on this set, but overall it is a good set. £49.99 pence I think is a bit overpriced, I would put this more at a £39.99 pence set or possibly £45, um, but I think that £50 mark is, is stretching it a little bit for this set. But anyway guys, like I said, that's all my personal opinion on this which I always like to share with you guys. But anyway, like I said, that's my review of this set complete. If you have liked this video, please do go ahead and give it that thumbs up. I really do appreciate seeing all the thumbs up that come on my videos. As always, feel free to leave any comments, feedbacks, questions, interaction with each other. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.